Yep, that's right. The other day I found a secret aquarium zoo with more than 35 massive fish tanks hidden in the basement of a nursing home. Trust me, you want to see this. Well guys, I don't know if I'm lost or if I got the wrong address, but according to Google Maps, there should be a place here called Aqua Zoo. And it should be a zoo with only fish tanks. So salt water, fresh water, I think some terrarium and spallodermis as well, but let's first try to find this place because I'm freezing. Found it. Seems like we have to go down the stairs here. It's very quiet as well. It should be open from one o'clock, but let's see if anybody's here. Today I'm going to take you guys on a tour through the Aquazoo Leerdam. This is literally an underground aquarium zoo that's run by volunteers and members of an aquarium club here in the city of Leerdam in the Netherlands. They have 40 different display tanks in total, both freshwater and saltwater, as well as a paludaria. Every display tank has its own screen which tells you exactly what inhabitants are in there, where they are from and other relevant information. Let's go over the most impressive tanks in a bit more detail. I think we should start with the largest saltwater aquarium, as this one was one of the highlights of my visit. A man working in the zoo told me that there's a murray eel hidden behind the rocks and he only comes out when it's feeding time. And normally they only feed him in the evening when the zoo is closed, but they were kind enough to make an exception for me. At first I could only see parts of his body through the rocks and I couldn't really estimate the size of him. But once he smelled the food and got out of hiding, he turned out to be a 5 foot monster. Some other beautiful fish in this tank were this golden puffer, these appellate sharks, lionfish and this yellow boxfish. Next up we will take a look at one of the largest freshwater displays. This one is a Congo river biotope, so we of course have the beautiful regular Congo tetras, as well as these blue-eyed Congo tetras. They had a really cool ropefish, and they also had a massive group of these African glass catfish. We were staying in Africa because next to the Congo River biotope, they had a Lake Tanganyika aquarium, with these beautiful blue frontosa cichlids, and a really cute Fahaka puffer. I'm guessing the frontosa cichlids were still quite young, because they can easily grow up to 14 inches. Now let's take a look at this beautiful reef tank. In here they have Chinese zebra gobies, lemon peel angelfish, bangai cardinal fish and a few other types, including these little guys. I think they're called yellow striped cardinal fish. Next up, something you don't see very often, a really cool tank with seahorses. Such fascinating creatures.
These are Brazilian seahorses and they grow to a maximum size of 15 centimeters. And besides the seahorses, they also had this beautiful copper band butterfly fish. I really like this one as well, a beautiful aquarium featuring the popular cardinal tetras. And when you see them in big groups like this, they really show the natural schooling behavior. The next one is a classic Dutch style aquarium. And with the Dutch style aquarium, it's all about the plants. They're planted in groups, and the goal is to use a lot of different colors and textures. And I really love the big group of diamond tetras in here. This one was also very special, they called this tank the shark daycare and they were currently raising two small epaulet sharks and they also had a shark egg. Apparently it can take between 6 and 9 months for a shark egg to hatch. This next one is probably my personal favorite because I really love planted tanks. In here they had a couple of really nice programmies and a large group of five banded barbs, but for me the plants really stole the show. Let's do another reef tank. This one was right at the entrance and stocked with all kinds of beautiful fish. One that stood out to me the most was this guy right here. I believe he's called a lawnmower blenny. Next up we have a tank for archerfish, and this was one of two displays with brackish water. So that means that this water is not as salty as the ocean, but it's not fresh water either. So somewhere in the middle. Now the archerfish are pretty cool already, but what about these guys? These are four eyed fish and they actually have four eyes. The second brackish display is also really cool, especially because of the dimensions of the tank. And this one was home to a large group of monofish, as well as a few mud skippers. Almost all of the displays that I showed you so far were quite large, so it was cool to see some smaller tanks as well. This is definitely something that other people can easily replicate at home. Each tank just has a simple internal filter, a variety of plants and a small group of tetras or barbs. I've got another reef tank to show you. This one in particular looked very natural and I really love the fish selection in here. Of course the different types of tanks and the clownfish, but also this fowlfish for example.
Next to that reef tank was this massive aquarium with some really interesting fish. We have a huge freshwater stingray. We have these guys, which look like silver dollars, but are probably called differently. We have these Lima shovel nose catfish and this really big placo as well. We have barely covered half of the display tanks here at Aquazoo, but these were the ones that stood out to me the most. If you are ever visiting the Netherlands, I highly recommend you take a trip to this place as well. They are open almost every day, but just for a few hours, so keep that in mind. 